love to travel. Um, would you like to visit? Would you like to go to a beautiful and exciting place? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you might want to consider traveling to Namibia, Africa. Wedged between the Kalahari Desert and the Atlantic Ocean, Namibia stands as one of the youngest and most beautiful countries in Africa. The BBC quotes in their travel site called Lonely Planet that Namibia, in addition, in addition to having striking diversity of cultures and origins, it is a photographer's dream in its beauty. Today I'm here to show you that Namibia, Africa is one of the best places to travel in the entire world. To help you better understand this, I'll first show you the tremendous wildlife, then I'll go to the, the geographical landscapes, and finally I'll close with the appealing culture and people of Namibia. This brings you to my first point, which is the tremendous wildlife of Namibia. Namibia.org says that Namibia has over 26 parks and reserves, which making its abundance wildlife one of its greatest tourist attractions. There are eight species endemic to Namibia, which include the black-faced impilla, several mice, gerbils, and bats. Some of the more exciting animals you may see in Namibia include large herds of springbok, virtual zebra, gemsbok, and the blue wildebeest. Some of the more familiar animals you may see in Namibia include lions, cheetahs, and leopards. And you won't drive very far on the highway without seeing a monkey or two, a warthog, or a giraffe. Now that I have gone over the tremendous wildlife, I will now go into my second point, which is the beautiful landscape of Namibia. Namibia's landscape has remained remarkably unchanged since, the, since, it began, since people began settling on the land. Namibia is a country of contradiction. It, it is a hot, dry, desert-covered country on the border of place on the coast of an ocean. The Namib Desert covers over 80% of the entire country. The desert includes both red sand dunes and flat, dry areas. The red sand dunes are a big tourist attraction because of its beauty, extravagance, and fun. Uh, red sand dunes are fun to play, play in, take pictures of with friends. My friend actually took this picture. And um, we, you can go um, four-wheeling on the dunes. You can go sledding down the dunes, similar to how you would go sledding down a snowy mountain. And you can go um, dune boarding, which is very similar to how we go snowboarding. And um, Namibia is Namibia. In Namibia, there is over a thousand miles of coastline. Um, with that said, there are also a number of beaches that you can visit while you're there. And what's really cool about the beaches here is that since the sun sets in the east, you can watch the sun set perfectly over the ocean. In Namibia, the skies are so clear that you can see many different constellations at once. Um, when I was there, I had seriously never seen any stars all many stars together at once. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now that I have gone over the scenery and wildlife, I will now go into the most important aspect of Namibia. It's friendly people. Although people of, the people of Namibia have been hit with AIDS and poverty, their faces still show a great deal of joy. Walking through the streets of Namibia is very welcoming. The natives always greet you with a mora or morning any time before 10 a.m. Then after that, they wave with a smile and say hello. According to the WorldBank.org, according to WorldBank.org, Namibia has a population of 2.2 million people and an annual growth of 1.9 percent. The primary language in Namibia is English, although only 7 percent of the only 7 percent of Namibians consider it their primary language, their first language. Um, other common languages spoken there are Afrikaans. German, Damara, and other tribal languages. Namibians don't tend to not have a sense of time, which makes their culture very relational. Um, they spend the majority of their time with people, and they love building relationships with old and new friends. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> now that I have displayed to you the friendly culture of Namibia, I'll conclude by saying, I have gone over the interesting wildlife, I have showed you the beautiful landscapes of Namibia, and finally I have shared with you how friendly and lovely the people of Namibia can be. I hope you now have a better, better understanding of Namibia, Africa, and its beauty. And I hope the next time you plan a trip you consider, this, you consider traveling to this wonderful country. I will now close with a quote from NamibiaTravel.net stating, Namibia is Africa, with its friendly natural people, with endless thornbush savanna, with lions and elephants, zebras and giraffes, an animal world as rich in species as no other on